The war route of Horus started from Tharu city, which is called El Kantara Shark now, and went all the way through until Rafah. It was relieved on the walls of Karnak in Luxor. The famous relief of King Seti I show the formalities of his reception in Saru Fortress, which is called now Tal Habwa, and it also shows the citadels and barricades that supported the road that was known later as the oldest war route in the world. New discoveries in North Sinai still define the places of fortresses that came on Karnak relief of King Seti I, who was not the only one who used the route and defined its boundaries and shape, but it was also used by King Ramesses II and Tutmosis III in securing the eastern borders of Egypt during the glory times of the Egyptian Empire. The Persian armies overcome the Egyptians, but the spark of revolution ignited against them in Egypt during the 28th dynasty, and Egypt was freed from them in 460 BC. But they re-attacked Egypt and succeeded in occupying it. Once more, revolution started, and they were gone after eight years of their second occupation. Year 332 BC witnessed an important evolution in the history of ancient Egypt, for Alexander the Great arrived to El Farma, or Port Said, to occupy Egypt after getting rid of the Persians. His ambition was to spread the Greek civilization and mixing it with the civilization of the East. From El Farma, Alexander went south to Memphis, and there he was handed over the country from the Persian Wali, and Egyptians welcomed him as being a savior from the obnoxious Persian rule. After the death of Alexander, Egypt was ruled by Ptolemy I, who wanted to secure his ruling in Egypt by subduing the neighboring areas by the eastern and western borders. The policy which was stated by Ptolemy I in ruling Egypt continued throughout the reign of his successors, who kept sending armies to occupy Syria as a secure for Egypt. These armies used Sinai War Way. 